God bless each one of you. Um, let's start a prayer before we start this video. Amen. Everyone, I'm going to ask, please bow down your heads and close your eyes as respect to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord God, I present to you everyone who is watching this. Lord God, you know what I am about to share with everyone of the testimony and the dream that you have given me, Lord Jesus, and the word that you want me to spread. May all the glory go to you because you are the one who is telling each and one of them the warnings and, Lord Jesus, that you are God Almighty. Lord Jesus, please guide each one of us and build us the way you want us to be. Forgive us for all of our sins, for we have all sinned against you, Lord Jesus. None of us are perfect, but Lord God, please forgive us and transform us and form us the way you want us to be. In your holy name, amen. Brothers and sisters, um, I, um, I've been having a lot of dreams this, this week, and God wants me to share each and one of you what I've been having. Um... So, my dream started off, um, I was in a household, and, um, while I was in this household, I walked outside, and then I went in the middle of the forest, and there was these witches that were in a circle, and they were chanting and all that, and Satan came out of the ground. They had a little child with them, and um, they killed him. They they killed the child right there. They sacrificed him to Satan. And when they sacrificed the child to Satan, um, Satan like 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 drank his blood and all that. And then the witches took the left of their parts, and Coca Cola came. And when the people came. They took the remaining parts and mixed it with other ingredients, and that's how they made Coca-Cola. Believe it or not, that's how God showed me. Um, God showed me the truth, what these products, what they make. Coca-Cola is one of the biggest drinks in the world. And God showed me how Coca-Cola is a very bad drink. Anyways, October 31st. Right now, it is um, Thursday, October 28th, a couple of days before that wicked day. Brothers and sisters, God showed me how this month is the most evil out of all. Because this is where they sacrifice babies to Satan, the enemy. And um, while... Coca-Cola was doing all that. I woke up. I remember... I woke up and I was curious, like, what the guy just showed me. And then I went back to bed. A couple of days later after that, I was in a household. And there was a table that was in the triangle. And all of it was witches, but on the three points were the biggest Satanists. Like, in the entire world. And then they started chanting. And then Satan came out of the floor. Like, he literally, like, climbed out of the floor. And he was walking around the table. And the witches all was facing down. There was this one witch that looked at him. And Satan came quick at her. And he had these chains on his feet and on his arms. And he smacked at her with the chains. And then she looked back down. And then he was speaking. And, um... He was speaking, you know, all that. And then a bunch of demons just came out of the ground. Like, um, there were some that looked like, um, I don't know how you say them, but, um, they looked like goblins. Other ones looked like wolves, mixed it. There was a lot of different demons that was coming out of the ground. Um... And there was a child that they had, and they sacrificed it to Satan. Satan drank the blood, and then Coca-Cola came. They took the leftover parts, and then they mixed it with the drink. But not only that, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King, Wendy's. All these places, they take the leftover body parts of the of the children that are sacrificed to Satan 
And they mix it up with the food and put witchcraft on the food. And the people who are working in the jobs don't know what they are putting inside the food. Only some of them. And most of them are Satanists. I saw a witch walking on this path at nighttime. This was this is another dream as well. While she was walking, I was walking on the path. I had this armor and I was walking. And I remember how there's a um the verse, you know, in the Bible that talks about the armor of God and all that. While I was walking on the path, the witch came up to me. And she had the McDonald's food of her, the chicken nugget and the fries. And they looked like they were turning to a finger. And I started rebuking and she's like laughing. <laughs> like all like that. God rebuke all the demons. And then she was acting just straight up like she was acting weird. And while she was acting like that. Um, she was... Um, just saying weird words and all that while I was rooking. When Jesus came, the witch started running. Sam himself came up to me. And he was like trying to scare me and all that. And I said, Jesus is with me. And then that's when Jesus appeared. And then the devil ran. He was far away. God has power. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. The demons and the devil himself are darkness. And they're not holy. So when they see Jesus walking, they already know the power of God. They get scared when we proclaim the name of God. So listen to this. A couple of days ago, I had a dream. Um, this dream gets really um, talking about body parts and all that. Because this is the, this, this is the month where they do sacrifice children. And God told me that a lot of people are not going to believe. But as long as the person spreads the word of God, that's all what matters. Because there's always going to be one or two lives that are going to be saved and that are going to know. So, after God showed me that, I was praying. And then... I think this was like two, three days ago. And then I was literally, I literally had another dream, okay? In this dream, I was in a household where a bunch of children were dead. And a witch with a knife was cutting out pieces of the body. And Satan was right there looking at him. And the witch, how she looked like she had like curly, like grayish hair. She looked like old. She had like these glass looking like eyes. She had one glass and the other like greenish, but the green looked like crystal, like frozen wise. Like when you take an ice block and you freeze it, like it looked like that. I rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. And while she was cutting out the pieces, she looks back. She can't see me, but she knows someone is watching her. And then she starts running around the place and all that crazy. I start rebuking all the demons in the name of Jesus. And then she's like, because <laughs> she could hear me. And I kept rebuking. And then she got scared. And Satan walked up to me. He, he saw me. When he walked up to me, Jesus appeared and he was like. And then Satan walked back. He walked back. And when Satan walked back, the witch got real scared because there was light in the room. And she could see Jesus and then she could see me. And while she was cutting out all these body parts, when she gave it to Satan and all that, literally Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts, Wendy's. Like a lot of these places, here's a testimony I think you should watch because this is these are some of the things that God showed me down there. And I got more things to share. Like, Twizzlers are bad. They represent the tongue of the demons. When you eat it, it's a gluten sacrifice. The M&Ms are also like the heads of demons. You're eating as a gluten sacrifice. 
like they're like the heads of humans in a way. Um, there's a lot of cartoons that you cannot watch. It's all in this video. Um, there's a lot of things that God showed me that were down there, and in this month they celebrate it. Brothers, sisters, before I keep on going, I just want to let you know something. Halloween is nothing us Christians should, should participate. Why I say that is God is a God of holiness. When you see Halloween, a lot of people see it innocent, but I see it as the most evil, most abomination holiday. It's not even a holiday. It's pretty much like the devil's birthday. How I say it is it's a day of sacrificing this whole month. Like I've been having dreams of kids being sacrificed. I had, a, I had a dream last year that I saw Santa Claus, but his face was all dark, so I couldn't see his face. And while he was walking, he was on the sleigh, and it was flying across these, this town. And then when he opened up, you know, the, the sack and all that, instead of toys, it was a big baby. And a demon carried it out, and it had a knife, and it was like this, and then my dream ended. And the weird part is, it was like motion sense, and it made it really realistic looking, but it was all at nighttime. And the weird part was, the moon was full. And I don't know if the moon is full, like if that represents something. But I know like on Halloween, almost every Halloween, it always has a full moon. And people say that the full moon represents like an evil day or an evil night or something like that. But I rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. We, when people buy costumes, when people make costumes, and you wear them, back in the days... It was about them fighting against demons and all that, but still, it was it, it, it was bad to do that. It it, it was it was it, it's it was different, you know, because I was watching these testimonies and then God wanted me to share this here, you know, on this channel. And dressing as a TMNT, dressing as a ghost, a clown, um. Satan, whatever, you are acting like a demon, like you are dressed like a demon, and we're supposed to be dressed with holiness, we are the temple of God, and putting those costumes over us just for some celebration, just for some candy, like, the candy itself is contaminated, they put witchcraft on the candy on that specific day, and on that day, look, God speaking, I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but God has... God showed me how these candies get contaminated. Um, I'm going to leave a list here of all the candies that God been showing me. Because there's be the, these candies that we've been eating and we felt a little bit weird. And God revealed to us that these candies are bad. That they have witchcraft. That they are, um, how do you say that? Gluten rituals. They are literally rituals. A gluten sacrifice. It's, it's a weird thing. It's Okay, so listen to this. Okay, so continue with the dream. While the witch was doing that, I got out of the house. And then my dream ended there. And then, like, God just been showing me a bunch of dreams. Kids been getting sacrificed. First, Kids are being sacrificed. Second, foods are getting contaminated by witchcraft and literally body parts. McDonald's is a big place. Dunkin' Donuts is a big place. Burger King is a big place and so is Wendy's. But Coca-Cola is the biggest drink right now in the whole entire world. And this drink is dangerous. Because people, the witches work with Coca-Cola. Satanists work with Coca-Cola. It's a lot of, a lot of people don't know about this. There's a test, there's a lot of testimonies about Coca-Cola. But nobody believes. God is saying, listen to my warnings. Brothers and sisters. There are things that we just need to listen to God. We need to listen to God and obey Him. Because obeying God 
is better than sa making sacrifices to God. God wants us to obey his word and to obey his warnings when God tells us something. Remember, he is our heavenly father. And as a father of the children, the father teaches the children how to live in life. And that's what God is doing for each one of us. But the church is doing something very dangerous. They are not listening to the warnings of God, number one. Number two, they are not being like the ancient way. Number three, they are not asking God for forgiveness. And they are stepping on the altar, which is a holy and sacred place to step on. When you go on the altar, it's supposed to be you and God that you're right. And when God tells you to step on the altar, you can step on the altar. But the altar isn't just some place to just stand on. Nobody... Nobody respects God's temple anymore. But it's not just God's temple now. It's also the brothers and sisters now. They gossip about each other. When one's in the holy fire, there's always one person that's going to be gossiping in the background. That's going to be like, oh, this person and this is filled with the Holy Spirit. You see how she acts. You see how he acts and all that. Brothers and sisters, rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. We're not here to live for people. We're here to live for him who has saved us. From the penalty of sin. In Halloween. And it's not just Halloween. But the reason why I bring up Halloween. Is because God said. This specific day. This whole month. Is a day. It's a month of sacrifice. There's other months too. God showed me almost every month. There's always a child being sacrificed. To Satan himself. But God did want me to say this. To not follow the devil's lies and the devil's ver words. Because the devil's right now tricking the church. The devil is right now tricking the prophets, the evangelists, the preachers. Brothers and sisters, these preachers that we watch on YouTube. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Glory to God. We need to remember that all the glory goes to Him. We're not worldly. We have to be like Christ. Christ-like. Be filled with the Spirit of God. We cannot be like the world and call ourselves Christians. Because Jesus is not like the world. Jesus is nothing like the world. Jesus said, I'm the, I am the light of the world. He never said, I am the world. He said that the world will, will hate us because, he said, remember, because they hated me first. He said, when the world hates you, remember that they hated me first. Be, why? Because he is the truth, the living bread, and the water of life. Glory to God. We need to remember that it's Jesus who we follow. It's God who we follow. The Almighty Lord who we follow. It's nothing else. It's just God. It's just God who we follow. Okay? Before I end this video. Halloween is nothing for us Christians to follow. And I don't care who you're listening to. You should never listen to men. But the word of God. It says in the word. That Christ is coming back. And we need to be prepared. You see this? You see the clocks right here? The time is soon. That God is going to come back. The time is ticking for you to come back. You see this? God is coming back soon. And we all need to get prepared. And we need to understand. Why God is warning each and one of us. It's because he loves us. He has mercy and grace on, upon each and one of us. He sent his son to lay down his life so that we could find it. And that we could build a relationship with the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Smile because God loves you. And remember Jesus is with you. God bless each and one of you. And remember Jesus loves you.